Hey, welcome to New and Old Games. Today, I want to talk about Cyberpunk 2077 and the new news that came out about it, which is you can't kill plot-specific NPCs or children. So, as far as children goes, I completely agree with that. I don't think I've ever played a game where you can kill children, and people, if you could, would probably make weird videos about it, and it's just a good baseline to keep that children are a no-go zone. Completely understandable. On the other hand, the plot-specific NPCs I kind of disagree with. Uh, I played Marlin before, and if anyone who has, you could kill basically any NPC in that game, even Vivek, who is like a main storyline quest giver, probably the main storyline quest giver. He's this godly figure in the game, and you can go to him at any point in time and just kill him. And you'll get a little message that says, hey, dude, you killed the main storyline guy. You might want to reload to a point when you didn't do that. And I can understand the complications with that, where if you do kill a plot-specific character, then you play hours and hours after that. You didn't un read the message or you didn't even see it. And then only to have hours later, you realize you can't complete the main storyline, so you're going to have to reload to a point before you did that. Or even if you have that save, otherwise you're going to have to complete make a whole new character so i can understand the complications with that but it's a cool freedom to have for the player when you see these characters and think oh i really want the loot they have should i get rid of them but how will that affect the story so maybe i should hold back but now you know right off the bat oh this would affect the story because he's not killable so you don't even have that choice to begin with i'm not saying that this is going to hurt cyberpunk in any type of way i mean obviously this game is probably going to be absolutely fantastic it would just add to how great the exploration decision making you would have if that option was available and i also understand the complications in terms of how it would affect the story if you killed a character that you were supposed to let's say fight later on in the game right and now he's dead it didn't necessarily stop you from completing the main storyline but they would have to make a whole new branch where this character is already dead and you don't have to see them later on i mean it would just cause a bunch of things they would have to make or just give you that message that says you can't make, complete the main storyline you're gonna have to reload so there are a ton, a ton of problems with that but there is one solution they could have made these characters very strong so that you really can't beat them until end game after you've leveled up your character to max and you've completed the main storyline and then you could go back to these characters as like an end boss type of thing to get their loot and get their armor whereas if you as soon as you first met them it's virtually impossible to kill them because of how strong they are that would have simultaneously given the players the freedom to kill them when they wanted to but also keep these characters alive at least enough of the time to where they can give you the storyline that they need to give you that i thought would have been a great middle ground unfortunately that's not the choice that they decided to make and you're not going to be able to kill these npcs uh, i don't know if it's going to be only main storyline npcs or side quest npcs as well Hopefully it's just main storyline ones and the side quests are kind of just because you don't need to complete them. So you will have that option there. But we're just going to have to wait and see and uh, realize if it's a good choice or not. But oh well guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and please subscribe.